Hey, in New Jersey, Bob Steele here with Rod West at my side. Let's take a quick look at the starters tonight. Who's going to shine out there, Rod? Steve Smith is a great ball handler, so a lot of pressure rests on his shoulders. The coach is counting on him to play mistake-free basketball. Okay, Rod, now let's head to center court for the player introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention courtside for the player introductions. For the San Antonio Spurs. At center. David Robinson. At forward. Bruce Bowen. At guard. Steve Smith. Also at guard. Tony Parker. Also at forward. Tim Duncan. Take the tip off to start the game. Duncan is looking for the ball. Puts it up from 11. Drains the first bucket of the game. Sweet shot against some fine defense. It's so much fun seeing these two go mano a mano. Kid rises up. Gets fouled. He'll shoot a pair. Easy call right there. He was mugged. He gets the first of two. And he ties it up. Duncan with the inbound. Passes. What, what? Bowen takes a quick shot. Kisses it off the right rim, then in. The Nets take it up court and are back 4-2. to two. Skies. Down it goes. Take nice it. finger roll. Yeah. Bob, this was good defense, but an even better balancing act by the shooter. Easy to see the contact rod, but look at the body control to get this off. Highlight film material, my man. Big time Bob. shot. Puts it up inside. Pickles the twine. That's the kind of shot where this guy really shines. He delivered that one with textbook precision. That's how you play this game. Kid high rises. Goes glass on the lay-in. 57 seconds here in the first quarter. Parker takes a turnaround J. Gets the kind bounce off Tony the back rim. Bob, he did a real nice job of getting a difficult shot to fall. Get up! The Nets, with the score this trip down, can tie it up. Went glass on the land, but it's ball, missed ball, by ball. Kidd. Nice rebound by the 14-year man out of Navy. The Spurs head into the front court. They're shooting 100% from the floor. Duncan where, has where? the ball. Duncan pulls the trigger from the high Duncan. post. Gets it to fall. He's money from there. They can go two for one here if they hurry, Bob. Kid brings it up. He has four points from the paint. Kid passes it. Martin wants the ball. Seven on the shot clock. 
Count that last jumper by Martin. Nice job to get open and drain that outside shot. The Spurs. Bring it up. They're five out of their last five from the floor. Gets aggressive. It's blocked. Passes it. We're at the end of one. The score is 10 to 8. And that's trail single digits after one, Rod. Any significant stats that leap out at you? Field goal percentage, Bob. They're just simply not shooting as well as the other team. And they just need to focus and work a little harder on both ends of the court to get out on top. Martin inbounds the ball. Passes. Get up. Kid jumps up. Take Gets it. the lay in. Kid. Parker launches from beyond the arc. Way to pressure the gets the front rim. Parker took the right shot. He didn't hit it, but you have to believe he's going to make that shot a lot more, and he's going to miss it. The steal. Parker has the ball. He's three out of his last four from the floor. Nice laying off the glass by Parker. Kid with a bucket here. He can get his tenth point of the game. Basic. Pin down, pin down. Gets vertical. Now is in double figures. Duncan with the inbound. Parker has the rock. He's shooting 80% from the floor. Up down low. Launches from beyond the arc. Can't get it to drop. Parker is a good shooter from long distance, but the defender met the challenge on that one. 51 seconds here in the second quarter. Martin is asking for it in the post. Kittles dishes it off. Stolen. The Spurs have the ball. They haven't hit a shot from the arc. Amazing play, Rod. Let's check it out on the replay. They can go two for one here if they hurry, Bob. Kid heads up court. He's four of five from the floor. Kid launches from beyond the arc. Doesn't get the tough shot. Kid had everything going his way, but that wide open three wouldn't fall for him. The Spurs are at the controls. They're zero out of their last two from the arc. Caught by Bowen. Ball, ball, ball. Launches from beyond the arc. Makes up his fifth point of the quarter. He has a total of 11. Martin throws it in. Kid brings it up. He has eight points from the floor. The long ball was off the mark by Kid. We've reached halftime with the score 17 to 12. Well, let's send it to Clark in the studio for a little halftime recap. Welcome to the ESPN Halftime Update. Here's a quick breakdown of the numbers from the first half. The Spurs have played to a stalemate here in the first half. The statistics are pretty even across the board, and neither team has been able to get too far up on the other in the first two quarters. Should make for a great second half. Tony Parker in the first half has a total of 11 points and one steal. A clear choice for our Sega Sports Hot at the Half player. That's our halftime report. Make sure to tune in to the ESPN postgame show at the conclusion of the game. Let's send it back to Bob and Rod. In the paint. Shoots. Pick him up. Yeah. It off the short yeah. side and in. He doesn't normally take those, but he saw an opening, got it to fall. Top of the key. Duncan launches from beyond the arc. Gets back iron and out. Despite the loose play on defense, he still couldn't get that shot to drop. It's stolen. Gains some altitude. Dumps it down with both hands. Duncan is fearless, Bob. He knew he was going to get banged. He knew he might not get the call. He did not care. That's what it takes to go inside and finish strong in the NBA. Matumbo inbounds the ball. 
Kidd has the ball. He has eight points from the paint. Kidd passes the ball. The steal. You've got to put the club on the ball when this guy's nearby. He'll snatch it before you know it. The Spurs could add to their lead with a bucket this trip down. Kidd gets called for the reach. That's his first foul of the game. It's loose. Passes it. Ball, ball, Owen ball. launches from beyond the arc. Great job. Can't drop the lightly contested shot. Bruce Bowen isn't even going to dwell on that last shot. He knows he should have made it, so he'll wait to redeem himself when the next open three comes around. Passes. Stolen! Things got a little jammed up under the net right there, Bobby. A golden opportunity for the defense to get in there and get the steal. That's how you play defense. Slam down by Bowen. They can go two for one here if they want, Bob. Let's see how they manage the clock. Kidd is at the controls. He's three out of his last six from the floor. Kidd scores his top point with the bucket there. Robinson with the inbound. The Spurs head into the front court. They're shooting 20% from the arc. Launches from beyond the arc. Great Can't get it to fall. Duncan wasn't even close on that one. There is nothing more embarrassing than throwing up an air ball. Kidd works it up court. He's shooting 71% from the floor. Martin is looking for the ball. It's stolen! Nice steal, and they control the takeaway category. Yeah, quick hands. Nice job right there. Look that last layup by Smith. Kidd has the rock. He's 5 of 7 from the floor. Kidd releases from the stripe. Bounces off the left rim and out. Parker swatted that one away, and it's his first block of the game. Got it off in time, but the buzzer beater was missed by Duncan. We've just finished the third quarter. The score, 23-16. to 16. The Nets still couldn't get the lead and enter the fourth trailing single digits. What do you think has been the difference so far statistically, Rod? Three-point shooting, Bob. When you're shooting this poorly from the outside, you need to abandon the outside shot and try to get something easier. High percentage shots will always help. Duncan throws it in. Parker launches from beyond the arc. Can't drop the lightly contested shot. Parker took the right shot. He didn't hit it, but you have to believe he's going to make that shot a lot more than he's going to miss it. Springs up. Drops in his 14 points tonight. Bob, this was good defense, but an even better balancing act by the shooter. Easy to see the contact rod, but look at the body control to get this off. Highlight film material, my man. Big time shot. Parker makes the pass. Oh, oh, oh. He it, and it's loose inside. Bob, he has such great anticipation. He's easily one of the best shot blockers in the league. Well, definitely, Rod. He lets their perimeter defenders take more risk when they know they have a big time shot blocker backing them up like that. Kidd heads up court. He has 12 points from the floor. Nice laying off the glass by Kidd. That basket has really helped their turnaround from the first half. Look at these numbers, Bobby. Big time reversal. The steal! Misfired from the left block by Kidd. Rebounded by Bowen. Kidd looked to be in good position, but those mid-range jumpers can be tougher than they look sometimes. The Spurs have it. They're one out of their last six from the arc. Shoots from 13 feet out. Nails it. Bruce Bowen. Matumbo inbounds the ball. Nets bring it up. They're shooting 64% from the floor. There's the steal. It's one on one. Elevates. Dumps it down with one hand. Oh, look at the steal right here, Bob. That's how you play defense. Nice defensive play, Roddy. Picks it clean and takes it in for the dunk. As I always say, good defense leads to easy offense. That's why I was a coach. And that's so they'll take a time out here. Fifty-five seconds here in the game. Passes it. Loose ball. Stolen. Robinson snags another one to help his team keep the lead. Man, remind me not to bump into this guy on a crowded street. He might hurt you. Jefferson with the personal. That's his first foul of the game.
He can't get the first. He misses them both. Matumbo corrals the defensive board. Kid with the rock. Pitch and the ball. They're three out of their last six from the floor. Kid gets his sixth point of the period. He's got 18 total. Duncan with the inbound. Kid with the personal. That's his third foul so far. He can't get the first. He misses them both. Rebounded by Martin. Martin passes. The Nets are at the controls. They're shooting 66% from the floor. Kidd gets whistled for the charge. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. The crossover is a smart thing to try when you're being shadowed like that. But the D was set. Got to take that charge. Kidd with the personal. That will be foul number five on him. Kidd has five fouls now. You know they're going to be driving the ball to him for the rest of the game. So he can foul out. He can't get the first. He misses them both. Martin grabs the defensive board. The Nets can cut into the lead with a basket here. Kid gets airborne. Offensive foul. That's his sixth personal foul. Fourth team foul. Substitution for the Nets. Owen throws it in. Received by Parker. Kittles with the personal. That's his first foul of the game. We're in the bonus, however, and we'll go to the line. He can't get the first. He misses them both. The defensive rebound by Martin. Passes 20 seconds here in the game. Jefferson passes it. Passes it. Kittles takes a quick shot. Doesn't get it all the way there. At the end of the ball game, your final score, 29-22. That'll do it for this preseason game. Be sure to tune into Sports Center to catch the latest news, scores, and highlights. Check your local listings for the correct time and channel. That's on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Thanks for joining us here at the ESPN Post Game Show. I'm Clark Dishman. The Spurs come away with a seven-point win over the Nets. They look to be in good form as they prepare for the regular season. The Spurs gambled tonight and created some turnovers. All you have to do is look at the scoreboard to see that the game plan worked perfectly. Tony Parker ended up with a total of 11 points and two steals. He's our ESPN Player of the Game. Terrific performance. Well, that will do it for now. Make sure to tune in to ESPN during the regular season for all the game's highlights and insight. I'm Clark Dishman. We'll see you then.